This is our empire. No foreign forces have set up bases on U.S. soil. This would be inconceivable to the American public. Yet U.S. troops are stationed around the globe, and with this often come problems for the local communities. Rapes committed by American servicemen leading to court martial. The rate has been running now since the Battle of Okinawa in 1945, well over 60 years, at two a month. It is about as bad public relations as you could conceivably imagine. We claim to have today 38 to 39 big bases. Those are interesting numbers because at the height of the British Empire in 1898, they had about 37. The Romans had about 35 major bases. If you are uh, Dr. No and you really want to rule the world, you need about 35 to 40 really big, unbelievably expensive military bases it's a way of life. It's militarism. Since President Eisenhower's farewell address, his warning concerning the dangers of the military-industrial complex have not been heeded, and the problem has grown worse. Today, the military-industrial complex has unequaled influence over our government and military. What's hard to understand is the failure of the Congress, the failure to exercise it, the, the powers of oversight, to use the power of the purse. Dwight Eisenhower's uh, 1961 farewell address in which he invented the phrase military industrial complex. That's, we in America actually have a long history of imperialism. What we don't have is a long history of imperialism backed by a huge military establishment. And that's what Eisenhower was talking about. It had grown out of control. If the price of liberty is eternal vigilance, we in America have not been particularly vigilant. It's now so deeply entrenched uh, that there's a very good chance that we will not survive it. 